vertical climb. Oh God. With no control, the pilot is forced to eject. Okay, NASA-1, we have an ejection, we have an ejection. 76 seconds later, the X-31 is destroyed. An older version of the plane, the Yak-38, is put on display. Showing off their hovering capabilities, the two fighters sit eerily still, just a few hundred feet above the runway. In a choreographed routine, they circle each other horizontally. Then, just seconds after they return to their starting points, one of the plane's engines cuts out. An instant after the pilot realizes he's lost control, he bails, and the plane plummets. Thankfully, the pilot lands safely on the tarmac. The accident happened because the exhaust from the plane on the left is sucked into the engine of the plane on the right. This disturbance in airflow causes catastrophic engine failure. Although the Soviet... The Yak-41 fighter is poised for a perfect landing, but the test pilot's about to find out just how tricky that's going to be. And as the jet fuel burns, the pilot is still trapped inside. What looks like a controlled speed is deceptive. The pilot's bringing it down too fast. The plane's fuel tanks rupture and burst into flames. Fire engulfs the wreckage, and there's... <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, Mark, I just Oh, no. I grabbed lunch. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be loud. Boy, you got some ball. Look at that guy. What are you doing?
10.33 a.m., LaGuardia Tower advises TWA of traffic off to its right. No one realizes it, but the United DC-8 is heading straight for them. Then, seven seconds later, as both planes approach 5,000, there's a brutal collision. One of the dc 8s engines tears through the fuselage of the Super Connie. The TWA plane breaks into pieces and goes down on the spot, crashing in Staten Island's Miller Airfield. But the United jet manages to stay aloft for eight and a half more miles until it's over Park Slope, Brooklyn, where Tom Regan, then 20 years old, is standing on the street. I crossed the street at 7th Avenue and Sterling Place, just stepping on the corner when I heard a loud, loud whine. And when I turned around, the wing of the plane, United Airlines was catching into the roof of the building that I had just left. And there was a tremendous explosion. Immediately, I dropped to the ground. And then moments after that, there was a second explosion. Bang! Just everything exploded. And now the whole place was on fire. I stayed on the ground for what I thought seemed to be a long time, but I believe it was only several seconds. And I jumped up and I ran, and I never looked back. Maar dat lijkt niet mee te vallen. Because it is an awesome. 